What's up guys, this is Francois Mark, your favorite American expat living in Seoul, South Korea, but I am not in Seoul. I am now in Kyoto, Japan, and I have no idea where I am. Well, actually I do, I'm at the Kyoto station, but we're going to head now to our hotel and hopefully get a chance to get some nice sightseeing done around this city. This is my first time to Kyoto. I'm super excited to be here because like, it's been on my list of cities to go to, list of places to go. So. Hopefully we'll go to Kyoto Tower, we'll eat some delicious food, and we'll go to one of those famous shrines where we can take, like, I see <laughs> a lot of pictures and things. We're awesome. We haven't done anything yet, but I'm liking the vibe here. It's really small, the city, compared to Osaka. And it looks as if it's more like navigational or navigable or easier to navigate. <laughs> I'm not really used to anymore. Like the streets in Korea are so narrow, but here there's so much space. I'm gonna have my first ramen experience here in Kyoto. I don't know the name of this, this shop at all, but it was recommended to us by the people who live or people who work at the hostel or no, the hotel room where we're staying. So we're gonna go inside. Oh wait, let me adjust this. Highlights. Oh, okay. There we go. All right, so we're gonna go inside this ramen shop and finally have some ramen here in Japan. It's been like three days and we haven't had any ramen, so let's go. Some kind of uh, discount going on here. Eating our English menu. Okay. Okay, my noodles with, or my ramen with the chicken broth has come. And I also got these three chicken pieces. And Hannes got his like mandu kind of thing again. This is his ramen. And his ramen came with a bowl of rice. So yeah, let's dig in. Very quickly, because my camera <laughs> is running out of SD card space again. So let's try some of this ramen. Mmm. The noodles are very thick. The broth is nice. And it's got some, I think these are like, mm. I don't know what they, these are, but they're good. <laughs> Tastes like mushrooms. And it's got some chives. Oh, these are green onion slices. And the broth is super thick. Well, not that thick, but it's, Thick enough and very like sucky nuts. Mmm, that is good broth. Mmm. And it also came with some egg. Get it. Good. It's like everything tastes like the chicken broth. Really nice. And let's try one of these pieces of chicken. Dip it in this white sauce. Wow. It's like there's this powder on top that makes it super and more breaded. Then we put lemon on top. Oh shoot, it's going everywhere. Mmm. Mmm, that's really good.
Okay, so like to make your noodles or ramen a little tastier, you can add some soy sauce or I think this is like vinegar and cayenne pepper, some red sauce, I have no idea what it is. And this is black and white pepper. Wow. Alright, so how was your food? It's good. I like it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see you eat your mandu. Mm. Uh, it got cold. Mm. What's inside? Something you don't like. Pork. Mm. Like minced pork, yeah. Minced pork. Mm. Yeah, so one thing about these portions is that on the menu, they look very small, but once they actually come out, they're pretty big. And the ingredients are premium, so you think that maybe the portions are not as big as they would be in America, but the ingredients are premium, so you do get full from having higher quality food than you do for from eating a lot of lesser quality food. Nice, let's try the chicken with some soy sauce. All right. Oops. Okay. Chicken, soy sauce, white sauce. Let's go. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Yo, it's so fun traveling with my friend. This guy's hilarious. Oh uh, yeah, uh, this this uh, SD card has like one minute of space left. So, anyways, thanks a lot for joining us as we finally ate ramen here in Japan. And we're gonna go off now and find some dessert and then head off to a temple. So hopefully, I can find a way to charge or to get more space on the SD card. Anyways, thanks a lot for joining us, guys. See you in the next one. Love you. Stay hydrated. Peace.